Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is my CVS haul. Yeah, it's a lot of things that went right. And just a couple of hiccups in this haul. But let's get right to it. So it was a lot of great deals going on. It's PNG week. So we have our PNG coupons to use plus great deals to pair them with. So I'm going to start with the best deal out of this, which was the Tampax Pearl. So I'm going to start with the best deal out of this. It was the Tampax Pearl. The Tampax Pearl is on sale two for eight. We have a $4 off two coupon in our PNG that just came out on Sunday. So it took off $4. I had a $4 manufactured digital coupon that also stacked, so it took off another $4, making that free. I also had a $2 off feminine. Well, I just had a $2 off tampons, Kotex stuff, $2 off tampon. So it took off another $2. And then I had a dollar off six feminine care. So that made my out of pocket free plus a three dollar money maker yes money maker on a ten packs pearls free tampons go get y'all some free tampons now i was shocked when both of the um digital and the manufacturer stack so go get it go now that's got to be a glitch so go now and get you some free ten packs so if you had a four dollar manufacturer and a four dollar digital these would be free all you have to do is pay tax All right, the next thing I got was the Mitchum. So this is, again, the um my deodorant that I use. So every time it goes on sale, I just grab it. I like the one that has no aluminum in it, which is this one. And then this is the regular one. So the Mitchum is buy one, get one half off. $5.99 plus $2.39. So $5.99 plus $2.39 equal $8.38. No coupons. Wah, wah, wah. I got back $2 in extra care bucks, making my final out of pocket $6.38 for both of them or $3.19 each. All right, the next deal was for the Indicator Oral B toothbrushes. These are on sale for $3.49. They only have the soft kind left, I guess. So $3.49, I had a $2 digital. So my final out of pocket was $3.49. And then I got back a $3 extra care bug back, making my final out of pocket for these two toothbrushes, 49 cents. All right, so I picked up some more Sally Hansen. I love nail polish, we all know that. I don't know what the other one rolled to in the car. It's down there somewhere. But the Sally Hansen was um, buy two, get a $5 extra care buck. So this is $3.79 times two, which is $7.58. No coupons. I got back a $5 extra care buck, making my final out of pocket $2.58 or $1.30 per bottle. I can't wait to put that on my nails. All right. All right, my next favorite deal was the Old Spice. The Old Spice deal is back. I'm going to have plenty of Old Spice when everything is over with, I guess. So the Old Spice was buy one, get one free. So $7.49 and $3.75. I mean, not buy one, get one free. I'm sorry, buy one, get one half off. So $7.49, $3.75. My out-of-pocket for both was $11.24. I had a $2 manufacturer coupon that's in our PNG. Checkout 51 gave me back $2. Ibala gave me back $1.25 per bottle. And then the buy one, get one free coupon that I used, it took out $5.99. That buy one, get one free coupon is in the insert before last. Buy one, get one free. It took out $5.99. So my final out of pocket is free plus a dollar and 25 cent money maker. Yes, free old spice. Go grab y'all some free old spice or some free secret. All right, so the Febreze was on sale for $2.99 per bottle. 
I like the game scented for breeze. It smells really good. All right, so two ninety nine times two made it five ninety eight. I had a buy one get one free coupon and I passed inserts for PNG, so it took off ten ninety nine. I mean, I'm sorry, it took off two ninety nine, making my final out of pocket per bottle of Febreze a dollar and fifty cent per bottle. Lay is back. Oh, lay is back. Oh, lay is back. Oh, lay is back. All right, so I picked up the bars this time because I like the bars also, and then I picked up the old lay shea butter. Now. These were on sale two for 12. I used my dollar and 50 cent off coupon for each one. So 150 off, 150 off. I had a $2 CVS coupon for take $2 off. And then checkout 51 gave me $2 back also. So my final out of pocket for both Olays is $5 or $2.50 each Olay, you are doing better this week 250 each i'm trying to get y'all free i guess they got to go to walmart or either walgreens to get it free but i'll take 250 per bottle for a bot for a big bottle and for six um boxes or of soap it's 250 so that's fine So the physician's formula. The physician's formula. I bought two of these. I've never tried their lip gloss. What is this? It's new. It's like a butter lip gloss. I never tried it, but I got two of them. I don't know where the other one rolled it in the car. I couldn't find it, but it's down there somewhere. So the phys physician's formula is buy two get a ten dollar extra care book. So I bought two of these. These are nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So my total out of pocket was $19.98. I had a $4 CVS coupon, it took out $4. So I paid $15.98 out of pocket and got a $10 extra care book back, making my final out of pocket is $5.98 for both of them or about $3 a piece. So I'll give y'all an update and let you know how this, um, how this works out for me. I don't know, but it's high, it's high. So the Gillette deal, the Gillette deal was um, buy three and get an $8 extra care buck back. Now these are $7.99 a piece, $7.99, $7.99. This one was $10.40. Now this deal was wrong. It did not include this um, razor, only the disposable. So I picked up this razor for $10.49 when I was supposed to pick up another pack of disposable razors. But I'm still going to let you know how it all panned out. Because um, I got to probably return this and pick up another Gillette um, thing. And then I'll get my $8 extra care book back. But I didn't get an extra care book back from this because I picked up the wrong thing. So pick up three disposable, not this one. All right, so $7.99, $7.99, $10.40. So my total out of pocket was I had two $5 manufacturer coupons, so minus five, minus five. And then I had a $4 manufacturer coupon for that. And then I had a three off 12 uh, digital coupon. So my final out of pocket for all three was $9.38. And then I did not get back my $8 extra care bug back. So I'm gonna have to again do this deal over, um, but it's pretty much gonna be free after that eight dollar extra care book that i get back so if i get another one of these and use the five dollar coupon it's going to take five dollars off i'm gonna have to pay three dollars out of pocket and then i'm gonna get eight dollars back so it's going to make it free plus a five dollar money maker something like that all right so i'll give you an update on that deal this is my free item i'm supposed to pick up one every day i just can't get to cvs every day so i picked up my free um tylenol they're 500 milligram, which is great. Um, you just send the free item to your app, to your card, from your app to your card, and just let them scan your um, card and you'll get it free. You do have to pay tax on it. So nothing in this world is completely free. They still want their taxes. 
All right, so the last deal I did was the spin 30. The last deal I did was to spend 30, get a, um, we not finna play with you, right? Spend 30, get a $10 extra care buck back. Now, I kind of am starting to restock up on shampoo because I'm running low. I haven't bought Herbal Essence, Herbal Essence. I haven't bought that shampoo in a long time and they upgraded their bottles. They're really cute. All right, so I'm gonna go through all the deals for that. So my spent 30, get 10. The Tide Pods were $4.99. The Pantene was uh, 3 for 12. The Herbal Essence also was 3 for 12. And then the Raid. I had to buy some Raid because I'm starting to see little ants in my house. I don't know where they're coming from, but I've been seeing a lot of ants. So the Raid is also included in this deal. So I picked up the Raid. So 2 for 12. The Raid was, um, was $5.79. So my total out of pocket for all items was $34.73. I had a $3 outside digital. I used my $4 off herbal essence um, shampoo coupon. It was in a few, like the retail me not of like June 28th, I think. The retail me not took $4 off. And then I had a printable rag coupon for 55 cents. I also had a digital two of three Pantene and I use my PNG coupon for five off three Pantene. Yeah, five off three Pantene. So after all those coupons was taken off, my final out of pocket is $20.18. I got back $10 in extra care bucks, making my out of pocket for all items $10.18 for all these items. Okay, now, so the $10 that I got from my spend 30, because that was the last deal I did. The $10 I got from my spend 30, get 10 back, I rolled it into this deal. Now, I needed paper plates, trash bags, and we were out of cups. So I needed all these items. So the deal for the, the total home is spend 30, get a $10 extra care buck back. So again, I took the $10 from my spend 30 and I rolled it into this. Now, this was, um, so the trash bags were $8.59. I got two containers of plates. So those were $5.79 a piece. And then I got these party cups. Now these lasted us a, a lot, a long time. And we, we rewash our party cups. Uh, we try to rewash them if they not cracked, if they not too stained. She put them in a the dishwasher. They don't melt. You know, I thought they would melt, but they don't melt. So she put them in a the dishwasher and she rewashed some of them, not all of them. So I got another uh, 100 cups because they lasted pretty well. All right. So all three items, well, four items, one, two, three, four. All four items came up to $32.16. No coupons. No coupons, no coupons, no coupons. I got back a $10 extra care bug back for spending 30, get 10. So my final out of pocket for all items were $22.16 after the extra care bug, which it was just stuff that we needed. So ain't no big deal. I still got $10 back, so that's fine. All right, so let me tell y'all something. This transaction at CVS, honey, it was like, it wasn't horrible. It was just a little, maybe 30 minutes. They get a little nervous 30 minutes before closing. They're trying to get you out of there. And they were just kind of like trying to get me out of there, which I understand. But honey, bring all this stuff up right, you know? And so in the middle of my transaction, this man came in and he wanted to use the bathroom. So the lady that was bringing, the cashier that was bringing up my transaction she kind of didn't want him to sit and wait because I'm doing, you know, I'm doing coupons. So she kind of asked me, can she open a um, bathroom from him for him? So I was like, sure. So as she, okay. So as she's going around to open a bathroom door for him, the guy, the older guy is walking and he just. So once he falls, everybody is in shock. 
she's the cashier this is a new cashier so she runs she don't know what to do she runs to the to she tried she thought about picking them up and then it was like no so then she runs she knocks on the door tells the manager of the store to come out the manager of the store comes running out she's going oh my god oh my god so when she comes out they call the ambulance for this going on? everybody is thrown off again it's the end of the the store is pretty much closed by now and i don't know it just was like really intense the guys laying on the floor they call the ambulance everybody's around him asking if he's okay you know thank god he was okay um he didn't really hurt himself he just took a little fall you know um he wanted to go to the hospital which is fine to get tested and so again the transaction was fine i did one big transaction plus i did um this transaction last the total home transaction so i didn't have that many transactions it just was something that unfortunately happened during my transactions but other than that everything went great i went to the cvs that likes me or the cvs that um is great with coupons i went to that cvs and you know i was like i don't want no smoke but um like i said something unfortunately still happened again the guy that fell was fine they, they took him out in the um in the on, on the like the little bed and um because he requested to go to the hospital to make sure everything was fine all right this is how it all pans out all right so this is how it all panned out if i would have walked into cvs with no coupons no manufactured coupons and i had a 25 dollars i bought a gift card I would have paid $172.29 for all items. After my I bought a gift card, I paid $45.07 $45 out of pocket. Now, I knew my out of pocket was going to be high because I didn't have any extra care bucks. Not one. Not one extra care buck. So, I already knew I was going to have a high out of pocket. So, $45.07. Checkout 51 gave me back $4 for the Olay and um, the Old Spice. So they gave me back $4 for that. Dang, I forgot to put my iBot on here. Hold on. So I added the iBotta on here. So $45.07 out of pocket. $4 checkout 51 gave me $41.07. iBotta gave me back $2.50 for the Old Spice also. So my final out of pocket was $38.58. I got back $38 in ECBs. So I got $3 back for the um, Oral B. I got $5 back for the Sally Hansen. I got $10 back for the Physician's Formula. I got another $10 back for the PNG. And then I got another $10 back for the Total Home. So I got back a total of $38 in ECBs. Once I return the raises, I'm going to get back my another $8. So I'm returning that $10 raiser by another $7.99 raiser. Um, and I'll get my um, $8 extra care buck back for that. So, that make my final out of pocket free plus a $8 money maker. Who better? Who better? Ain't nobody better than Beauty Passion. All of this stuff was free plus a $8 money maker. Now, the deals this week are okay. Go out and get y'all some deals. I mean, they're not the best, but they're all right. All right, so that ends my haul. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to go to Walmart. Not Walmart, Walgreens tomorrow to get to do the beauty event. I always miss the beauty event, so I'm not trying to miss it this week. So Walmart, I'm not keep saying Walmart, Walgreens tomorrow. If I don't do get to Walgreens, then I'm going to do a Lovely Wholesale try-on. I bought some things from Lovely Wholesale for $0.49. Cent. $0.49, cent, $0.99. Cent. They all was less than a dollar. So I tried them on to see what Lovely Wholesale is working with. So it's either going to be one or the other. It's going to be a Lovely Wholesale haul or I'm going to be at Walgreens. So stay tuned tomorrow for tomorrow's video. 
Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on my way to 10K, y'all. Y'all see? I think I'm at like 7,700. Help me get to 10K. Subscribe to my channel. Because I show you how to save money, honey. Who better? Nobody. Thank you all again for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's beauty, passion, and I'm out.